So here's a good challenge from Oz du Soleil. We have these titles here, and what we want to do is find a way to sort them, or dynamically sort them by text, alphabetically, but uh, we want to exclude these three words, a, an, and the. So you see how down here, this is the desired result. Uh, we have all the words, but when, we, when they're sorted, it's ignoring those articles, and we see that it, when you go like this, it is sorted alphabetically. So let's take a look at what I consider the essential logic here. Are any exclude words found to the left of the first space? So many ways to solve this. Let's look at what Oz did here. Here are the titles, and we can add a new title. This is a table, Excel table, as you see up here. And Oz, his approach is to have a helper column for each of those keywords. And what this does basically, I mean, take a look at this and use, click inside of the formula bar, use the F9 key to highlight certain parts. But basically, this is saying, um, is the word the to the left of the first space? And then, if it is, we're taking the length of the keyword above plus a space. There's always a space after uh, the one of the exclude words up here. If we take away that space, it won't work. So watch what happens here. If I take away the space up here, then where it says all the time, that would be considered uh, one of the exclude words. And it messes the whole thing up. Because the letter A, without a space after it, is to the left of the first space. So we have to go back in here and make sure we always have that space. So that's sort of an essential part of Oz's solution. Then in the final column, we've got uh, just the words uh, the titles without those keywords, and then the, the step here we have to do is to say data, sort, and then we sort by final, um, click OK, and now they're in the correct order over here. All right, so that was his approach. What I did was probably too complicated. Uh, this is my high-tech solution. I have two solutions, high-tech and low-tech. So uh, my high-tech solution, it's also a table, just like Oz had, enter a title. You could enter a new one here just below the title. It will expand. And I broke this down into very clear steps. So step number one is uh, where is the, what's the position of the first space? So that's what these numbers mean. This is an error because there is no space over here. It's a one word title. Um, now here I have sort of what Oz did where I take out those keywords. So this is the title part to sort. But I went a little further. Uh, and by the way, this is an what we have right here is sort of the tough part. This is an array formula where it's saying, f look for any of these words over here um, to the left of the first space in each title. And the dynamic thing about my solution is that you could put new words in here, or you could remove them. All right. So let's go to this part. We've got the titles without the keywords. We rank them, basically using count if to see where these are. This is the first one. This is the second. This is the, the tenth one, the last one, the waterfall, because um, we're not in considering the letter A. So it's the last one in the list. So here's just a simple counter. And then here is where we reorder them. And finally, in the column final, this is what we, this is the, uh, the, the last step. So we have, um, here is everything that we want. Let's compare these guys to what Oz had. So we look over here at his, and if I were just to take these, because we sorted by this, but these are really the titles, including those words. If I just copy this, go over here, and where can I paste this? I'll paste it, it's almost off the side of the screen here, but I'll just paste as values. And we just want to make sure that they're all the same, and they are all the same. So that is good. All right, so here's my low-tech solution. And there's a lot of steps here, but there are no formulas. So first step, uh, we're going to highlight all of these titles and say data, uh, text to columns. And we're going to delimit this by this, that first, or all the spaces, really. Next, space, uh, next again. Now final, the destination, we want to make sure that we leave these the way they are. So we're going to go like this and click G2. Go like that and press Finish. And there we go. All right. Um, next, we want to do a find replace on those exclude keywords in here. So we're going to do Control H. That's the shortcut. And that's the first letter we want to get rid of. But we want to make sure that we click this, check this box here, match entire cell contents. Otherwise, it will do a number, kind of mess up um, Andy. And I think there's maybe one more. But all right. So replace that with nothing. 
and we go to the next word, and replace all for that. And finally, we, the word the, that's our third and last exclude word. Okay, perfect. Now, I actually had to pause the video because if we now sort by this column, it can kind of mess it up a little bit. We have to take wherever we see blanks here, we have to do this, go to special and then blanks, select those four, right click, and now we want to say delete and we want to shift cells left. So when I do this, you're going to see that the ones there's blanks, word two becomes word one. We go like that. All right. Now we can do our sort, go like this, data, sort, and if there's, if the titles, if you had hundreds of these, you'd have to make sure that they don't start with the same word. I mean, we could say sort by word one, um, and then add a level, put word two, add a level, word three, if you really wanted to. But in this case, there's not that many. So we're going to click OK, and now we're going to compare them. Uh, so we've sorted by this, and here are the, the titles. Um, let's go back and take, let's take this one as mine. We'll take this one from my high-tech solution. We want to compare these to make sure they all work. Over here, I'm going to say paste the values, then go over and get the ones from, from Oz. These guys right here, copy those, come over here and paste those as values. And now we want to compare these and make sure that they're all the same. So I could write a formula, but I'm just going to scan it and it looks fine. They are all the same. So three very different ways to solve this. And uh, thanks, Oz. This was a fun one.